Welcome to Hot Homes 2015 and in case you spent the last month under a rock, let me tell you the market is still hot and February is just seething with, oh yeah, hot homes. Let's start in Victoria, in Lower Steading and the deeply divine home of Stephen Acast, aka the king of Peninsula Design. Sheathed in welcoming boards and roofed in grey tile, it is the epitome of peninsular elegance, stately but not pretentious. Five bedrooms, five bathrooms, blah, 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 but it is the design. Look at this design. I would be happy just with the guest house. But one last thing, the walk-through dressing room. Oh, and, and the garage slash cellar. The home is listed with David Heathcote at Cane Burton Flinders with a price expectation of over $10 million. O'Malley in the ACT has offered this executive home into the mix this week. 12 Pindari Crescent. This home was a builder's own home and the finishes reflect an owner who knew where to spend the money. Proportions are breathtaking. The kitchen is fully imported from Italy and the terrace is so not what you would expect in Canberra. This home is listed with Peter Blackshaw in Manuka. New South Wales is of course in the mix. 226 Belgrave Esplanade Sylvania Waters is a study in space and style. The four bedroom, three bathroom home has lush touches such as 60mm Carrara marble and the occasional 8 metre ceiling. This is with Alum Real Estate in Caringbar and they're looking for expressions of interest but you can guess it is in the $3 million range. Now, this next one is such a treat. It is a house that just makes you smile. You'll find it at 19 Hill Street in Queenscliff and from the street you would never know what was on offer here. It's a beach house which has been entirely revisioned. Huge spaces and still cosy nooks. And that master bedroom, you didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> you think you've seen it all? No, you have not. Look at the bathroom. The owners love this house. It was going to be their forever home, but they are being dispatched interstate for work, which is their loss, but maybe your gain. And to cap it off, at the end of the street, the steps go right down to Freshwater Beach. It's with Sweetnam's Real Estate in Balgala, and it's off to auction, so don't dawdle, with a price range in the high two millions. And we finish off with Adelaide Castle. I know people say their home is their castle all the time, but seriously, folks, Check this out. Just 35 minutes out of Adelaide and 1185 George Road Paracombe reveals itself. Castanbul Castle. It's seven bedrooms and five bathrooms and as eccentric as it comes. Just check out the ceilings. They're all hand painted and amazing. The kitchen, sure, match. there are two of them. The cinema. Much of the detailed hand-carved furniture comes with, though I'm not sure, about the suits of armour. You have to ring and ask about that one. I talked with the agents this week to see how it's going and they admit it is a shallow pool of buyers for this property because this is a niche property to the power of 10. But they have had interest from interstate and here's a big surprise, China. Well, oh, how much is it? Well, who the heck knows? The replacement value is $4.9 million, so you know, take a stab. <laughs> That's all we have now. More for you next week. See you then.